welcome to our part 4 of threat hunt using jupyter notebook episode guys so in this particular episode we are going to hunt for remote service creation okay and if i just want to show you all of my directories and threat hunt directories so obviously there is an untitled one and i would just like to rename it as service creation then we will look for what is the hypothesis guys so what exactly we are trying to capture here so advisories might be creating new services remotely to execute command to execute any processes or move laterally in your environment that is the exact thing that we are trying to capture over here and what is the offensive tradecraft so advisories might be executing a binary command script via method that interacts with windows services like it could be a scm it could be a wmi it can be something else as well and which is uh, apart from advisories creating a new service okay that is the exact thing that we are trying to capture over here and as per our last episode as well we will first do the initialization we are going to do the data load we are going to do the data parts and uh then we are going to hunt for it okay so once we are going we are done with the data loading again i am going to take some dummy data that we have already uh, present and you can get the data from the github as well we are going to unzip that particular data once that is done we are going to parse that data okay so once that is done this is the time we are going for the hunting okay okay so what is our first analytics guys so our first analytics is nothing but we are trying to look for new service that is being created okay uh, in my environment under network logon session okay so you remember whenever a event or user created a service it generates 4697 that is one event id which is 4697 another event id is 46 two four that is a user authentication event right and this one is a user created service event both events should be matched to look for our this hunting scenario and we need to go for a inner join guys because our data set is a same table right but we are trying to identify if the same data set where we have identified we have both the things okay one user has initiated a logon which is a network logon and followed by user created a particular service okay so let us see what could be our best possible uh, sql syntax and i will explain you in a minute so now just look at this particular area guys so what we are trying to do over here we have created a uh, alias of this empire table alias o and we are selecting timestamp host name subject username subject user name again service name ip address okay so what exactly it will give us it will give us the hint where user has been logging on and if you see we are doing the inner join and we are selecting the same thing host name target host name target logon would be the same from it right so first let us see the is in our join section okay so then you will understand what is going on at the outside of it so inside the inner join we are going to select this event id which is windows logon event event id 3 which is the network logon and target username is not dollar one that means we are not concentrating or we are not care about which is a system generated target username it will give us some output right that output we are trying to match with our outer query and we are selecting these parameters where this subject logon is the target logon that means a user has been trying to do the logon from uh, over the network and they are trying to create a process that means they are trying to create a process so we are trying to capture it from 4697 event make sense so if you do not understand this particular query you can just put a, a pause button and you can read this particular query you can understand what exactly we are trying to do over here because since it is a single table you need to map to different properties of a table we need to create the inner join guys right pretty simple 
okay so now let us run this particular sucker up and let us see if we have identified something okay so now if you look in this particular area guys what is happening over here this particular user and this is the subject name it has created a service and it has used this particular ip address so that means this user has used a network logon from this ip address and this user has created this update service that means this user is not in the system it is trying to reach to the system via a network logon and it has created an updater service it is quite possible that this updater could be a malicious one and it is trying to get some um something some doing some malicious activity on this particular workstation and it is done so now what is the next step guys as an incident responder you need to now go to this particular machine and you need to go for looking for this particular username what is this user up to right so this is the way that we can prove our hypothesis and we can prove that something bad is going on onto this particular machine that's all i'll catch you guys next time in the next part of the threat hunt series